COVID cases continue to rise across New Mexico and with it hospitalizations. But one part of the state is seeing more than others. News 13's Stephanie Chavez has details. A recent epidemiology report shows hospitals in southern New Mexico are taking a larger hit. Just talked to the regional hub hospital there uh, this morning and they're seeing much higher rates of uh, ER visits starting to fill up. The transfer rate from uh, Roswell into, uh, which is our hub hospital for the southeast, into Albuquerque has gone way up as well. Now you can see that trend clearly on this map, which is part of the latest epidemiology report. It shows the hospitalization rate per 100,000 people. According to the map, Lee, Eddy, and Chavez County are seeing some of the highest hospitalization rates in the state. These are also some of the least vaccinated counties. Now, according to the state's vaccine dashboard, only 42% of residents in Eddy County are fully vaccinated. And Lee and Chavez counties are barely ahead. Both reporting 43% of their population have gotten both shots. Dr. Scray says the numbers in southeast New Mexico could get much worse by September. Lanel is projecting that we could see over 1,000 cases per day. Just in the southeastern part of the state alone. You can Lee Regional Medical Center tells us they currently have nine COVID patients in the hospital. We asked if those patients are vaccinated. They said they did not have that information. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Stephanie. Now, Presbyterian says they had 22 COVID patients about three weeks ago. As of yesterday, they're up to 90 COVID patients. That is at their hospitals statewide.